hi guys today I will show you how to integrate your Jenkins master and slave with the datadog monitoring tool so let's start so here is my Jenkins dashboard which I'm going to monitor with datadog and I have this Jenkins machines on my AWS account this is my Jenkins master and slave so I'm going to monitor both of the machine and this dashboard is coming from the Jenkins master machine and this is my data doc uh, where I'm going to monitor my Jenkins master so uh, first of all you should have a data doc agent to be installed on the Jenkins master and slave so let's start to install data doc agent and then we will go with the integration so go into agent and then select Amazon machine because I have the Amazon machine uh, where I want to install Datadog agent if you have uh, CentOS you, see you need to select CentOS and then copy this command and paste on the command line so this is my Jenkins master machine let me switch to root and paste this command so now my datadog agent is installed and it is saying if you want to stop datadog agent you should run this command so let me check the status So it is showing like datadog agent is running also check the configuration file for datadog so this is a configuration file and if you come here here you will see the api key is got you know configured and this api key you will get from the uh, API section if you go API section you will see this is your API key of the data doc which you need to configure on your Jenkins or any host where which you want to uh, monitor inside the data doc now go and install for data doc for Jenkins slave copy this command again so uh, master and slave both have configured with the datadog agent now uh, we need to go inside the integration section and we need to select this Jenkins uh, you know plugin and if you come here you will see the configuration section and here you need to put the URI of your Jenkins server and say install integration and if you press Jenkins again you will see like Jenkins is installed and if you come here you will see the message like this integration was recently installed or updated please wait at least five minutes for data to be appear okay so you have to wait for five minutes so meanwhile let's go inside the Jenkins and and inside manage Jenkins go manage plugin and press on available and search for data doc here you will see Oh, go back again and just check for I guess it is already installed on my machine so you need to ok 
okay so by mistake it is uninstalled so I need to restart my Jenkins server so that it will get in uninstalled completely so if you come here in the data dog you will see the steps written here like you should go into manage Jenkins and then manage plugin and then select the data doc plugin so you will get all these steps here so this is my Jenkins is restarting here it is restarted let's log in inside the Jenkins Now go into manage Jenkins. Manage plugin. And then go into available. Type data doc. You will see two plugins are so we require data doc plugin only. We don't need matrix data doc. Just go and install it. it is installed now go back to the dashboard now we need to uh, uh, configure this plugin now go into manage Jenkins and then configure system scroll down now you will see datadoc plugin here so here you will get the two method like if you wants to monitor through datadoc agent or you can also monitor datadoc through you know datadoc api key so here you need to change the password and you know you should go inside the api and here you will get get the api key you need to copy it and paste here so the recommended way is do the data doc uh, this monitoring through data doc agent so I'm going to do that and you should have a 8125 port port number enabled inside the security group for the AWS agent so if you go inside the security uh, security group here I have added port number 8125 as a TCP and a UDP protocol so it is already enabled so the configuration part is completed now now we need to go inside the data dog and you need to go in inside the dashboard now you will get uh, now uh, you will see here this Jenkins overview once you click it So this all metrics you will get from the Jenkins master node. So for now it is fetching so it will need at least some time to fetch all the data from the Jenkins master. For now you can see like plugin count like whatever the plugins is installed inside this Jenkins master uh, you will see here stay on page and one more thing you need to do you should go into advanced section and by default this section is not enabled so you need to check it enable lock collection and then save so after some time you will get all the you know locks and all the details here so this is how you can integrate your data dog with Jenkins so thank you for watching this video bye bye